Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. How are you? Lily wants to say good morning to you. Say hello. Say hello. They're over here. <laughs> this morning is going to be a little different. So it is May is Mental Health Awareness Month. We're going to start with some rhythmic moving and then go into some really great stretches. And we're going through a mindful meditation today. So whatever mood you're in today, I'm sure it will be a free mood boost for you and you're going to feel great. So I'm going to ask Lily to lay down, <laughs> go lie down, <laughs> and we are going to get started. So if you have a cushion for meditation or a pillow, anything that you want to sit on that will feel comfortable, you can sit up against a wall, you can sit on the floor. That's what you'll need for the second part after we warm up. It's really, really good to have this. I got this on Amazon, I think, I don't know. I did a review on it a while ago. It is actually filled with, let me show you. Oh, this is what's inside. So they're little tiny shells. And if you need the pillow to be more firm, you keep all of them in. If you need your pillow to be less firm, you take it out. And I cannot remember for the life of me right now what these are called, but it is on one of my product reviews. Lily, please don't eat those. It's on one of my product reviews. So we'll, t we'll discuss that in depth a little bit later. Let's see who we have on the stream this morning. Mama McCrazy's in there. Hey, thanks for being here. It's nice to meet you. Your pal Misty, Cheryl Davis, Jenny's Journey, Alita's Health Journey. And let's see, I thought I saw someone else. Lily, can you not do that? <laughs> okay, so that's who we have in here right now. So I also wanted to show you my shirt. The sun will rise and we will try again mental health awareness. So uh, I've been wearing a lot of these shirts that I get through a company. I'm a mental health ambassador, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So right now, let's get started with some rhythmic moving. I'm actually going to see if Lily will stay here and behave. If not, I may have to leave and put her in a room. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with some movement. Nothing crazy this morning. I'm not trying to get 5,000 steps in like we have been. It's going to be different. I'm kind of suffering with a little bit of a, a, a flare-up with the golfer's elbow, so I'm going to be taking it easy. Let's just go into a nice little stroll here with a little march. Yes, it's such a great day to exercise. Let's take a deep breath. We're inhaling through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So if you have had a workout already today, thank you for being here and supporting me and my efforts. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. This workout is going to be so much different than what we're used to. So we're keeping that nice little pace right here. And we're going to just step touch from side to side. So you can join me getting those muscles warmed up. You never want to stretch a cold muscle. Cold muscle, that could cause more injury than, than helping you. All right, so yes, my cat might be in here. My dog might come in and say hello. <laughs> right now, she is licking a table. Why would you lick a table? It doesn't taste like anything and it's not food. I don't know. Go figure. All right, so we're going from side to side. Warming up those legs. Good morning, legs. Warm up those arms. All right, drop them down and just pull in. You're gonna go down and up with the leg. Nice and easy, grab a hold of something and pull it in. Elbows are pulling into the waist. If you are on here live right now with me, I wanna thank you so much. Replay gang, thank you so much for being here. If you are live, join me and my YouTube family on Derek's journey is going to be, let's, let's step touch again. It is going to be 11 a.m. 
I'm in Arizona, so that's our Mountain Standard Pacific Time. And Eastern Standard would be, Misty, correct me if I'm wrong, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. <laughs> Let's bring the arms to the front. So I'm kind of far away to see who's chatting. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Let's drop those arms down. Now let's march. Going into a shoulder roll. So let's bring the shoulders around and back. Around and back. Around. Oh, it feels nice. So it's 7.30 here. I don't know what time it is where you are. The sun is shining. Clear skies. Fresh air. Spring is in the air. Closer to the end of all this yucky weather than the beginning, right? So it's a good day. Let's bring the arms forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much again for being here. It means more than you know. So each time I'm crossing a different arm over, when I bring it to the front, a little bit of allergies going on here. Are you guys suffering with allergy symptoms? I think it's everywhere. It's, it's East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. It, it's everywhere. Let's drop those arms down. Bring them up and lower down. All the way up and hold. Marching with our arms in the air. Bring those knees up. Let's gently bring the arms back and drop it down, lifting away from the back. So we're lifting up. We are keeping our head tall. I missed you guys last week. Saturday mornings is our thing, right? No matter what we do, if we're doing a high energy workout or something like this, I missed you. All right, back to swinging those arms. Going to a heel dig front on the right side. Ready, after two and one, press it front. Press, press. Let's see who else is in our chat. Becky, my five-star life. Thank you for being here. Again, this is just a rhythmic movement for now. You are going to love the meditation. I've been working hard on this. I did have some meditation videos long ago when I started YouTube. Let's press the arms down. If you want to get a little fancy, you can add that little side, side swing over here. And guys, in the beginning of all of my videos, I used to say, hey, fitness friends. <laughs> well, the last video I created, I did that again. And I don't know if you like that or dislike it. I don't know. But I thought it was cool. <sighs> Good job. Are you warming up the muscles? You're going to do four heels, four step touches. Four, three, two. Now step touch for four. Four, three, two, four heels. Four, three, two. Step touch for four. Four, three, two. Back to the heels for four. Good job. Two, step touch for four. Four, three, Last time forward. And let's hold the step touch from side to side again. Gonna bring the legs right here. Fix your shirt if you have to. <laughs> We're going to be lunging from side to side. Make sure your toes are facing forward. Knees aligned with those feet. We don't wanna have this. We want them aligned, our chest is tall, so we're just gonna lunge. Nice and easy from side to side. Finally, my new road microphone is coming today. So I'll be happy to try that out in all the future videos. So if you're having a rough day today, I want you to know that it's okay to have a rough day. It's not a bad life. It might be a bad day, but it's not a bad life. And we're all in this together. Sometimes all you need is a friend to talk to, even if you don't want to talk. Sometimes it's good to talk. You'll feel better when you get it all out. 
So we've all been there for each other. And just remember, you're never alone. If you need me, if you're new to the channel, my information is in the email. Email me, I will reach out to you and I will do what I can. Because that's my why, that's why I'm here on YouTube. I'm not here to make a million dollars, I'm just here to be here for the community and uh, outreach, you know? I just wanna make sure that everyone, if I could change one person's life or, or have one smile, that's what my goal is. So we're lunging from side to side. Let's bring it to the front. We're gonna go down for two and up for two, ready? Down for two, roll it up for two and reset the shoulders back. Down for two, roll it up for two, reset the shoulders, again. Down for two, roll it up for two, shoulders back. Again, down for two, roll it up for two, shoulders back. This time, let's stay at the bottom. Gonna drop those arms and let them hang. Gonna just sway over toward one foot and then toward the other foot, keeping your chest right here. We're not, we're not really arched over. We're kind of gonna roll it up now. Roll it up, yes. Shoulders back, walk your feet in. A little bit more of a march. Fix your shirt. <laughs> This shirt is actually very soft, but it's a little wrinkled. I'm sorry, I got it out of the bag yesterday. So yeah, we still have wrinkles. Let's go into a knee lift, sort of right in two, two and one. So it's a nice knee lift with a bicep curl. It's a slow pace this morning, waking up every muscle, every joint, because motivation is what gets us started. Habit is what keeps us going, right? Make it a habit to have habit to have movement in your day each day, even if it's just a five to ten minute walk on your driveway. Motion is lotion. It will help your joints to feel good. And we'll get that butt blood circulating. Nice little knee lift. And let's cross it over. Punch over. Again, it's a little movement, keeping our chest high, pulling those abs in tight, crossing over, good, good job. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? So I'm bringing one arm across the front and one across the back. Oh yeah, those muscles are warming up. <laughs> And remember, my slogan, 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing. That's March. So if you do five minutes of this, that's great. You don't have to do the whole thing. You're moving. That's all we want. All right. So let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Toes out. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out. Deep breath again. Inhale up. And exhale out. Grab a drink of water. I'm going to check the chat and see. Yes, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Derek's Journey. These people are my family, so make sure you check us out. Oh, everybody's saying hi, 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 hi. Oh, Lorraine, it's so good to see you. Lorraine Burke, Shape Up After 50. A new friend of mine. She's awesome. So if there is a channel on here that I didn't mention, please, please, please remind me. Jocelyn Ortiz. <laughs> Late good morning to all. It's so good to see you. Okay, so we did our rhythmic movement. We're gonna do a little bit more. So we're gonna be holding to the side, bringing the arm around. So we're just swinging the arm, we're standing up tall, just to warm up that rotator cuff. One more. And now let's go the opposite direction. Remember, we're standing tall, our abs are tight, going this way. Good job, good job. You never want to stretch a cold muscle. Let's go over to a march. 
And now over to the other side. Again, we're going back first. Uh, no, we're going forward first. Your chest is really tall. And we're breathing. We're not holding that breath. All right, keep going, keep going. Other direction, back, back. Great job, great job, great job. So we're gonna stretch in between movement. Last one, our first stretch. I see someone else in here. Carolyn, Sophia, oh my gosh. Check her out. She has a new baby, baby Claire. <laughs> I feel so excited that everybody's in here this morning. All right, let me get my little notes here. My little, I forget what Misty calls this. It's like a, a torture board, I don't know. I'm going to slip my glasses on because I did not put my contacts in this morning. So yeah, all right. So first thing we're going to be doing, stretching out the largest muscles. Let's start with our quads. So we're in a little march. We're lifting that knee high. Get them all warmed up. <laughs> all right, and we're going to stretch. So we're gonna hold on to a wall unless you have super balance. Hand right here and we're pulling the leg back. Now check this out. This is incorrect. Do you see how far out my leg is? The leg needs to go in so that the knees are close together. The leg is not here. It's aligned with the other leg and our chest is very tall. Our abs are pulled in tight. You're going to feel that through the quad. Your quadricep are the muscles in the front of the leg. Let's just hold that move, hold that stretch a little longer than normal. I know we do our cool downs, but today we're holding it a little longer. I'm going to shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. I'm going to hold the leg up and extend out and bring it in. Extend out and bring it in. Two more. Out, in, out, and hold it here. Hold that one legged stance and bring the leg back one more time. Again, you might be a little wobbly at first, but join in when you're ready. You will have probably better balance on one leg than the other. I think most, the majority of people do. And yeah, I definitely have better balance. If you have watched my latest video, it's coordination and balance, you'll see. You'll see that on <laughs> one leg is better than the other. Shake it out. Okay, let's go to the other side. Again, same hand, same foot. Bring it up right here. Again, sometimes you have to get uncomfortable before you can get comfortable. <laughs> Our chest is tall. Our back and spine are aligned. Soft knee, and our tummies are in tight. Hold it right here, oh yeah. Hold it a little longer than we're used to. Shake it out. I'm gonna lift that leg up and hinge from the knee four times. Ready, four, bring it in. Three, just two, two, and one. Bring it back one more time. So we can't control what life brings to us, but we can control how we react. We can control our reaction to a circumstance. Let's drop it down, drop it down. Why march? So how we react. I do have a video, E plus R equals O. And I have a bracelet that I wear. E plus R equals O. So you have a circumstance, an event, Plus your reaction equals, oh, your outcome. Let's bring the hamstring up nice and easy. So how we react to things can be a good outcome or a bad outcome. So we're just pulling the hamstring up, warming it up, warming it up. And I did an example a few weeks ago. Let's bring the arms here. Again, if you are at a restaurant and you spill your drink, you can react in an angry way and swear or cuss or just get mad. You can cry, you can complain, or how will you feel after that? You'll be pretty miserable 
with a negative attitude, or you can say, oh, okay, it's water. It's whatever, it, it will dry. You're not gonna die, <laughs> right? You're not gonna die, it's uncomfortable. But hey, accidents happen, smile it off, and then your outcome isn't stressed out. You're not mad, you're not angry. Let's drop it down, good. Little step touch. So how we react to things, which I'm learning in my life, really does control the outcome. And I struggle, I do, I struggle just like you. My life is not perfect. My days are not perfect. Good days, bad days, we all have it. If they were all perfect, if someone tells you they have a perfect life and all their days are perfect, uh, I would question that because life isn't perfect. Life gets messy, but we love it. Let's bring our legs out to the side. So our arms are out. We're just going down slowly to the foot and we're coming back up. We're going down to the foot and coming back up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be an airplane right now, so we're gonna fly. Misty, I'm so random. <laughs> just gonna fly and get some movement in that waist and hold it again right here. Now we're going back down, bring the arm up and hold it this time, trying to straighten out the legs. If you can, you can look and gaze past that hand, come back to the center, and we're switching. Same thing, we're switching over, can gaze up toward the hand, feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Let's come back up, arms up this time. Bring them all the way up and stretch. Hold that stretch. Hold it here. We're going to come down all the way and try to get your hands down as far as you can. You might not be able to get to the floor, and that's okay. Just going to go down as far as we can to stretch out that hamstring. So we're heading down, holding the move. I don't know if my shirt is... Uh, too loose, so trying to hold it here. Hold it here, and now we're going over to the other side. We're reaching to the other side of that shoe. Going to the front, walking over, reaching to the outside of the other shoe. Doing what we can, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Chin tuck, up and around. Up and around. Okay, still working on the large muscle group. So we've stretched out those quads and we're stretching out the back. So our back has so many muscles. My traps, trapezius muscle gets so tight all the time. So let's work on stretching that out. We're bringing the arms here. We're folding them to the front. Holding it here, we're gonna look down and you're going to feel this stretch from the neck all the way down the spine. If your head does not tuck a lot, that's okay. Do what you can. Hold it here. We're gonna go down slowly and reach again. And we're pulling the elbows back. We're going down slowly and we're pulling the elbows back. Roll it all the way up, good. Let's see if there's anybody else in my feed here. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see everybody. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little more balance work. We're gonna stand on one leg, we're gonna be a flamingo. So we're working on balance and stretching. I'm gonna stand on one leg. So keeping this stable knee bent, lifting up the leg, and we're going to bring our hands close to our heart and hold this move. Just hold it. A good tip to increase balance and coordination. If you are brushing your teeth, try standing on one leg. If you are waiting in line at the store, this might look a little funny, but you can always balance like this. You can balance anywhere. Hold that flamingo. That's what I call it, a flamingo. Let's go over to the other side. So here we go. Get your foot flat. Use all the areas of the foot and let's bend the, le the leg and bring it right here. And sometimes your foot will wobble like mine. But I am proud of you for being here. You are taking time out of your busy day 
to stretch and get movement. And I appreciate that. Time is precious and valuable and you are here. And I'm so proud of you and thankful for you. Let's drop that down. Okay. Next movement. We are going to be crossing one leg behind the other and we're going to reach overhead. We're going to hold the arm up really tall and stretch through. You're going to feel this in your waist. You're going to feel it up the side, stretching the IT band. Everything is stretching. We're going to hold that. Sometimes if it's too uncomfortable, come out of it a little. Try your hardest to get a full stretch. Oh my goodness. And when you do a lot of stretching, you want to make sure you drink a lot of water. Drop it down and switch. So let's bring the leg other, other leg behind, just like that. Reach the arm up. When you get a massage, if you've ever had a massage, they tell you to hydrate. Same thing with stretching and exercise. You're going to flush out all that lactic acid out of the muscles. Oh yeah, hold it here. Good stretch, good stretch. Hold it, hold it. And let's come out of that. Going to be bringing the arms forward again and hold it here. Hold it here. Gonna bend the legs and go overhead and hold this move. Again, you can feel that in the sides. Clasp the hands together. Step apart and we're going to the side. Gonna bring those arms side and we're gonna circle around nice and slow so that your hands are facing me. We're going over to the other side, keeping the feet forward and we're gonna reach all the way up, going around the world. Hold it tall, toes facing me. Let's fold forward and hold it right here. Feeling it in the back. Pull the arms back and roll up. Good. Stretch out that hamstring. So actually we're gonna stretch the quad first. And you know this stretch, heel to the floor, chest is tall. Remember, if your heel is up, that is not a full calf stretch. You need it to be down. You're gonna lunge forward a little bit, making sure your knee isn't going over the toe and you're going to stand tall. Gonna reach forward with a flat back, no arched back, flat back, reach and hold the calf stretch. Oh yeah, going over to the other side again. Heel down, not up on the tippy toe. Heel down, chest is tall. Lean into it with a flat back. Make sure your toes are facing the same direction. You're gonna lift away from the back. Open up the chest. That's it, good job, good job, good job and bring it in. If you have a step, I'm gonna show you another move. If you have a stepper, which you don't need to get it out right now, or a, st uh, a staircase in your home, you can always go on the step and drop the leg down. So if you're feeling tight, your calves are feeling tight, you can always do this and then you're gonna to switch to the other side to feel that through the calf. I do this a lot and my dog does not like that. She thinks uh, that I'm, playing games or I don't know. She doesn't like it, she jumps on me. All right, now we're going down to our to the floor. You do not have to go to the floor. You can go down on a chair, on a couch, whatever works for you. I'm gonna sit down on, I have a pillow here, whatever's gonna work. I'm gonna get in a comfortable position. I think I need to adjust this. Just a little, little, little. Oh, Alita says she's going to do that stretch in Kroger's next time. Or the, I'm sorry, was it the stretch or the uh, balance? <laughs> I do that. I'm in a Costco standing on one leg. People are probably wondering, what is wrong with this woman? So I'm going to just extend one leg out. If you are on the floor, this is going to work a little bit better for you. I'm going to turn our whole torso. To the side, I'm keeping my back flat. I'm reaching toward the toe and just reaching, keeping the chest up. So we're not arching, we're keeping the chest up. We're reaching, reaching, feeling the stretch in the back of the leg, the hamstring, all the way down behind the knee. And we're gonna drop this arm here and reach overhead. 
Reaching overhead is going to help stretch through the obliques again. And let's come back in. Stretch to the other side, me and my, my pillow, my pillow and me. <laughs> again, straighten the leg. Gonna reach toward that foot. Not gonna force it, don't wanna force it. Each time you'll get a little bit more. The more you stretch, the better your flexibility will be. You will improve over time. So we're just keeping the, we're turning the torso and we're gently reaching down. Keeping the head up. I'm not going very low, but you can get as low as you'd like. And now I'm going to bring this hand on the floor and reach overhead. And if you want to, you can lift all the way up. That is your call. We're gonna come back down. I would recommend not being on the pillow for this next one because of the angle. Left, offer. Gonna bring those feet together. Feet together. So if you're on the couch, it's gonna be a little squishy. Just bringing the feet together, stretching into the inner thigh. And your chest is going to be tall. We're just holding. And sometimes people do this, a butterfly. And that can be helpful. It depends on what you feel best with. What do you feel good with? Don't do something that doesn't feel right. All right. So now I'm going to lean forward and I'm going to reach my arms out. You can walk the hands up or back and go down as far as it feels comfortable and hold it. I'm just going to hold the stretch. Full back stretch into the glutes all the way. Can drop it down to the forearm, walk it back. Great job, great job. I'm gonna sit back on my pillow. <laughs> Keep breathing, we don't wanna hold that breath. We're going to cross the feet in a comfortable position, bringing the hand out and the palm is facing you, we're going to gently pull back. This is one of the stretches I do for golfer's elbow. When I'm having a flare up, I can't pull back as much, but it is helpful for all the tendons and, and muscles in your forearm. It will feel good or it will feel bad. So do what you can, <laughs> shake it out other side again. If it hurts too much to straighten the arm, just have a bend in the elbow and pull back. Very good, very good. And now we're going to be stretching out that neck. So get yourself comfortable. All right, we're gonna turn the neck to the side and hold. You're gonna look down toward the armpit, hand on the crown of the head and pull down. So we aren't tugging and pulling on the neck. Gently pull down. You're going to feel it on the opposite side. And release. Release. I was going to say bring it back and, and release, and I said release. I made a new word up, Misty. Release. <laughs> Turn the head to the side. Same hand on the crown of the head. Look toward the shoulder or into the armpit. I hope you wore deodorant today. Oh, no. Hold it here. <laughs> And bring it back. I am not going to get giggles again. Every Saturday I say something ridiculous and I start laughing and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I guess I am going to do it. I'm going to stop. Stop, stop, stop. All right. So next thing we're going to do is tilt the head to the side and gently pull the ear toward the shoulder. Other arm out. Straighten the arm. I'm going to lower nice and slow. Lower, nice and slow. I'm gonna stop, I promise. All right. Hold the neck or hold the stretch. I'm gonna release the tension out of the neck. The neck is where we hold so much tension. And now we're doing the same thing. Hand here, head toward the ear, arm out straight. Again, we're not tugging and forcing that neck down. We're gonna lower nice and slow all the way. Hold it. We tend to carry a lot of stress and tension in our necks, in our backs. So we are doing what we can to release it. 
and drop it down. We're gonna do a chin tuck and bring the arms back, lift open. Head is up and now we're gonna bring the arms down and tuck the chin. Again, inhale, arms up. And look back down into the chest. Hold it here, relax the neck and shoulders and hold the move. Let's just hold that move right here. And release. Okay, so we're going into a guided meditation. As you can see, I'm sitting on a pillow, sitting on a cushion. Uh, we're gonna relax ourselves right now. I'm gonna talk you through this guided meditation. So the best way to meditate, sitting up tall, dropping the hands in the lap. So if you have never meditated before, I welcome you to try this. Please try this. And at first, it will be hard to keep your attention in one spot usually. If it's the first time you're ever doing this, that happens and it's okay. Just wanna to remember to breathe and come back to that breath. So let's drop the hands. You can actually put your hands in a comfortable position, whatever feels good for you. We're going to have our neck tall, aligned with the back. Gonna pre pretend there's a broomstick from the neck down to the bottom of the spine. And you're going to close your eyes. We're gonna go through this together. And we're just going to inhale on the count of four. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold it and relax. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Let's try it again. Inhale and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. So we're taking our body to a place of relaxation. We're gonna breathe in one more time. Focus on the breath. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to calm our mind and put all of those worries out of our mind. We're going to focus on our, our spine, sitting up tall, and doing something good for our mind and our body. I'm going to hold it right there. And there's always something to smile about in life. Maybe today you went outside and got some fresh air. Let's smile about that. Maybe today you ate a nutritious breakfast. That's a win. Maybe today you're going to drink all the water you need to, to support your body. Maybe you're going to get dehydrated, get hydrated, and that, that's a win, that's a smile. There's always something to smile about. So right now I want you to focus on your head. We're going to relax those eyebrows. Relax the eyebrows and feel the tension, swipe that tension away that's between the eyebrows. We're going to let those eyelids get heavy and let those eyelids close. We're going to unclench the jaw. A lot of times we clench our jaw. We want to unclench the jaw and put the tongue in the roof of the mouth. That will help you during the day. If you are clenching your jaw, focusing on our nose and our breathing, slowing the breathing down, slowing the heart rate down, you deserve this. And relaxing through the ears. Our ears are a gift. We can hear sounds and songs and birds singing. Just gonna relax our mind. And if your mind wanders away and clings to a memory or a worry or a problem, gonna just refocus and bring it back to the present moment, back to breathing, back to meditation, Back to things that make you happy. This makes me happy. So I'm breathing and I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about anything right now and you shouldn't worry either. We're gonna relax our mind, keeping our chin up, focusing on the neck now, relaxing the neck. Let your shoulders drop. 
Let your shoulders drop. Keeping our eyes closed. Let that weight drop off your shoulders that you have been carrying around all week long. I will take that weight off your shoulders. Right now, imagine that I'm lifting weight off your shoulders and you feel so much lighter. Feel so much lighter. And the neck, into the ears, into the head, everything is just relaxed and we feel the weight lifted away. We're relaxing our shoulders into our arms. Your arms do so much during the day. We want to thank those arms for being there for us and lifting things. We write things. We cook. We clean. We hug our loved ones. We love our dogs. We're going to thank our arms for all the work they do and be, be thankful, be grateful. Into the hands, again, they do so much for us. It's such a privilege to have hands and fingers that move. I want you to move your fingers right now. Wiggle your fingers around. Use your breath to come back to the present time if you're drifting. And let's just fold our hands over now. We're going to touch the, the leg and bring the palms of the hands onto the leg. And if you have your legs crossed, you are welcome to shift and cross them over the other direction now. Keeping that breath. So remember, reaction to uncertain stress in life, to circumstances that we can't control. Um, I'm asking my dog to, can you sit please? In a future that we, that we can't control what happens, what life brings, and we worry about things that don't even happen, that might not even happen. So right now we're going to inhale again and exhale all the worries and inhale again, feeling the lungs, keeping your head tall and exhale. Life is full of uncertainty and things happen. How we, re we react to them is how we control our life. And life isn't perfect, but it is a gift. So into our heart now, think of a good memory. Think back to an old friend, a time where you were overjoyed, and I want you to grasp onto that memory right now. Close your eyes and feel the moment when you saw your friend for the first time. When, if you have children, when you saw your child for the first moment. If you have a dog, the first moment you met your puppy and you held your puppy in your arms. If you don't have dogs or children, think about the first time you came out in the fall and felt the crisp air and the crunchy leaves. Think about another loved one, a brother or a sister that means so much to you, or your mom or your dad or your grandparents. Think about a moment when you went to visit them and we're going to hold on to that moment. We're going to relax into the abdomen now. The rectus abdominis and the oblique muscles do so much for us. They twist, they help us to get in and out of the car. I'm going to thank those muscles for being so strong because we can do all of these wonderful things. Focusing down the spine into the tailbone, into the bottom of the back. Sometimes we have issues with our back. Sometimes it hurts. I'm gonna just relax that area right now. And if you are reaching, clinging to a different thought right now, worry, I want you to come back to me right now, back to yourself and refocus. Refocus on the good, we're loving our life. I always have hashtag love your life, not theirs, because you are you. Nobody is you. Just be you. You are special. Everyone else is taken. So it's your job to be you. And now we're relaxing into the gluteus maximus, into the legs. We're just relaxing all those muscles. 
And you are welcome to lie down if you would like to. You can lie down right now. You can stay seated. I think I'm going to lie down, trying to keep that focus on the mind. So take a second to make your choice. If you want to lie on the floor, you can. And we're going to lie back. Use your breath to come back to you. And we're going to drop those legs down, extend them out. And just let all the body weight sink into the floor. Sinking into the floor. Letting the feet drop where they want to drop. Just follow my voice. Our eyes are closed. Our hands are down. Relax your neck and shoulders once again. Unclench the jaw. Our quadriceps and hamstrings are the top muscles in our legs. And they are strong. They walk every day. They get us to where we need to go. Going to be thankful for those muscles and thankful for this moment. Now we're relaxing into the knees. Without knees, we would not be able to walk. They bend. They do so many things for us. They bend down to help pick up things that we need off the floor. Bend down when we need to do a squat. I'm going to relax the knees. And now into the calves. Just relaxing those calves. We get so many steps, especially if you were walking last month. Think about how much work those calves did for you. Thank you, calves, for being there for us. We take you for granted sometimes, but not anymore. And relaxing into the ankles and the feet. Let's move our feet around a little bit. Flex your feet. You're going to feel a stretch through the calf. Flex your feet. And now let's point the toe. Point your toes. And flex again. If you're lying flat and your feet are flexed, Really good way to stretch out your calves. Our whole body is relaxed. We're going to just feel in our heart all the joy from that moment that we thought of earlier, that happy moment. And I want you to keep your eyes closed and smile. Right now we're going to smile because we're alive we're being mindful and grateful. Our bodies are good to us. Sometimes I hear people say they're not happy with the way their body looks. We're not going to think about that because our body is amazing. No matter how skinny, how heavy, no matter what you look like, it does not matter. Your body is moving for you. What's inside is what counts and how we talk to ourselves. I oftentimes say if you're saying something to yourself that you would not say to your friend or your parent or your child, you should not be saying it. So today, we're going to focus on positive self-talk. And I want you to say right now to yourself, say, I love you. Say, I love my body because of what it does for me. Are you saying it? <laughs> Starting to wake up a little more. Thank you for everything that you do for us, body and mind. We promise to start treating our body a little better because mind and body go hand in hand. Mind and body go hand in hand. Sometimes we need to convince our mind of a thought, a positive thought, and follow through with the body. I don't want to take a walk today, but in your mind, you know a walk would be good for you. So you convince your mind to talk to the body and you finally say, okay, let's go for a walk together. So we're relaxing, seeing a clear sky in our mind, 
seeing the words in the form of clouds, grateful. Picture the word grateful in the blue sky made out of white clouds. And lying in the sun, the sun is not too hot. The temperature is not too cold, not too hot. And now the word grateful is starting to disappear. And we're waking up the body. We're going to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, we're going to deep breath. And exhale, you can open up your eyes. And if you see me, I have a friend. <laughs> Bend your knees and you can roll over to your side and gently roll up. I thank you so much today for meditating with me. If you would like to see more meditation and things like this on my channel, let me know in comments what you would like to see because I'm here for you. I want to provide you <laughs> with things that enrich your life. So remember, today we're on Derek's journey in a few hours, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye. Lily, you're a good girl. Did you come to visit? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hey, Big Daddy Beard Gaming Productions. Sorry I missed you. Shout out to you. Hey, guys, have a great day. Misty, that was exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. From the bottom of my heart, hug you lots, sending you lots of kisses and hugs. Take care.